to my channel. Today I've created this very colourful, very glam half cut crease for you. So I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe down below. And if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette. I'm taking this colour here, which is called Paranoia. And I'm going to run that on a big fluffy blending brush through my crease. Next, I'm taking this shade here, which is called Alchemy, and I'm gonna run that through the lower crease on a separate brush. Then taking some more Paranoia on the first brush, I'm gonna blend that out. Then I'm gonna take this shade here, which is called Gossip, it's like a really hot pink, and I'm gonna blend that also into the lower crease, just using the same brush. Then I'm just going to keep building up with a mixture of Alchemy and Gossip to get the colour a bit more intense. And then blend out with Paranoia again. Then I'm going to take some of this colour here it's a really deep uh, purple, it's called Sketch, and I'm just going to take that on a MAC, I think this is a 214 brush, it's just a flat shader brush, and I'm going to run that over the second half of the lid. Then I'm going to take some more of that Gossip shade to blend that out. And then just take some more Paranoia to blend out the edges. So next I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm going to use this to cut the crease. And to do this I'm just using a MAC 316 brush, it's just a lip brush. Next, I'm taking Whimsical, which is this absolutely stunning shade from Makeup Geek. It's like, it's like, it's like silvery white, but it's got pink undertone, pink and purple undertones. It's just, it's amazing, I love it. Um, so I'm gonna pop that on with my MAC 242 brush, just a flat shader brush. So I feel like we've lost a bit of the intensity of the pink, so I'm just going to go back in with that Gossip shade and just quickly run this over the crease. And then just back in with Whimsical to make sure we haven't lost that sharp cut crease line. So next I'm just taking that Gossip shade again and I'm going to blend out this harsh line here. And then I'm just going to go over with that brush again, the 242 brush that had Whimsical on. I'm not putting any more product on, but I'm just going to really lightly blend over that line. I have no idea who's whistling outside, but it's very annoying, so please ignore it. Um, next I'm going to take Black Track um, Fluid Line by MAC, this is just a, any gel eyeliner, and a MAC, um, this is a 266 brush I think, just an angled liner brush, um, and I'm just going to do a, well, I'm going to attempt to do a thin wing liner, but it never ends up very thin. So for mascara I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash and then for lashes I'm going in with some Ardell Wispies if it's gonna focus 
So now I'm going to move on to the rest of my skin. The first thing I'm doing is priming my skin with the Benefit Wonder Blur Primer. Next, I'm just going to do a bit of colour correcting. This is the NYX um, Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Orange. I'm just taking a really small amount of this. And then I'm also going to take the green one to hide any red areas. Then I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the colour Nude to match my neck. I'm just going to take another half pump of this just to build up the coverage in the centre of my face where I feel like I need it and on my chin because of these. I feel like with this foundation you have to blend for ages, like you have to really, really work to blend it out, even with the beauty. So I'm just going to take my Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS in the shade Custard and I'm just going to touch up my blemishes. Wow, this concealer is a really good match for this foundation. Just anywhere where I just think the foundation hasn't done quite enough. And then I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender again to blend those out. Then I'm going to take my MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. This is in the shade NW15. And I'm just going to squirt some of them onto my Beauty Blender. Then before I blend that out, I'm just going to take my MAC 316, which is just, um, it's another lip brush. It's the same brush that I used for the, for cutting the crease, um, but it's a clean one. And I'm just going to take some of that concealer and clean up my liner with it. Then I'll just take my Beauty Blender and blend that up. All under my eyes in a nice big triangle. I like to take it further down as well to generally highlight my face. And I like to go right up to my nose as well. Helps with contouring it later. Look at that. This concealer is so dewy. Then I like to take the butt end and use that to blend out the edges, especially on my chin and around where I've highlighted under my eyes, just to make sure it's nice and seamless. And also I've gone a bit overboard on my chin, so you can <laughs> recover that back up. The only thing I hate about this foundation and this concealer is that I feel like I have so much on my face. Like with my um, NARS foundations, it feels like you have nothing on. And with and the same with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, which is the one that I normally use. You just feel like you don't have anything on your face. Um, so this is, it does feel more full coverage. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm just used to having more lightweight things on my face. So next I'm taking my Makeup Forever um, HD Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just going to dip my Beauty Blender in there, yay, and set my under eyes with this. So I'm going to do the rest of my face before I finish off my under eyes. 
And I can't decide what contour to use. I can't decide between Hoola and my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit because I'm sort of... Normally, if I have tan on, I'd use this. And I'd use this shade because it's darker than this. But I don't know, I just don't feel like I'm that dark today. Yeah, I'm going to go in with um, Hoola first, I think. Um, as you can see, I love this product a lot. And I'm using this uh, non-branded cheapest chips Amazon brush that I actually bought for something else and ended up using for my contour so um yeah I'm gonna go in with that first so then I'm gonna take this shade from the ABH contour kit on the same brush to do my jawline I might just take a touch of this on my cheeks as well. So to blend that out, I'm going to take my MAC, um, I think this is a 168 brush, but the numbers come off. It's just an angled, really fluffy brush. I'm not going to take any product on this to start with, I'm just going to blend this out by itself. Then I'm just gonna literally like one, two taps into that um, just to darken up this outer edge. Then I'm gonna go back in with Hoola and this is my Real Techniques Basic Shadow Brush. And I'm gonna do my nose. Then for something a bit bronzier, I'm going to go in with my MAC Give Me Sun straight back on that 168 brush. And I'm just using a really small amount of this to bronze up my skin. Focusing mainly on the outer areas of my face. Just to make me look a little bit more tanned. Just going to go back into my hula and just contour under my lips. I am loving these eyes. Just gonna moisturise my lips. So for my highlight, I'm going in with the sleek, oh, hi, the sleek um, solstice palette. I don't want my highlight to be too obvious um, because I want the main focus to be on the eyes. So I'm just gonna take my Mac uh, 224 brush. It's just just a eyeshadow blending brush. And I'm going to take this pink shade here to tie under the eyes, but I'm only going to take a really small amount of it. And this is a really intense highlight, so I'm, I'm only taking a small amount. I'm just going to use that. So next I'm going to go in with something I haven't used in a very, very long time. I forgot I had this MAC blush palette with only two in. Um, and I'm going to take this shade here. I can't remember what it's called. I can't remember for the life of me what it's called. But I'll leave it listed down below anyway. But it's really, really pretty from what I can remember. And I'm taking that on just my Real Techniques blush brush. And I'm going to just lightly dust some on the apples of my cheeks. And then last but not least, I'm going to go in on the... Oh, I haven't even done my eyes. What am I talking about? I am not doing the lips yet. I'm going back to my eyes. So to finish the eyes, I'm going to go back in with my Full Spectrum palette. And I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Gossip. It's the, like, hot pink that we use. And I'm going to run that under the eyes using my MAC. Using my MAC, actually, the brush. Thank you. 
And then just really quickly, I'm gonna take that Paranoia shade and blend that out slightly. Then I'm just gonna quickly take the, oh, what was it called? Whimsical. I'm sure I called it Wisteria before, but it's called Whimsical. That one there, um, it's the one that we used for our cut crease and I'm just gonna run that in the inner corner just to brighten up a bit. So just before mascara, I'm gonna take this MAC um, Studio Chromographic Pencil in the shade NC15 slash NW20 and I'm just gonna run this on my lower waterline. Then lastly for the lips, I'm gonna go in with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the color Batchy. It's, it's amazing, it's just unreal. It's like, oh, I can't even describe how incredible it is. So this is the finished look, I hope you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe down below as well and all that good stuff and yeah I think you could wear this on any sort of glam occasion like if you're going to the prom as that's coming up soon or if you just fancy looking nice around the house which is what I'm going to be doing then I think this is very nice. So yeah if you like it then thanks <laughs> and yeah I'll see you next time, bye!